Now that you've found UBN Radio and discovered our quality talk shows, it's time to spread the word to friends, family, and the universe. 24 hours of music and talk. Radio without limits. That's why people keep coming back for more. That's UBNRadio.com. Jump off that exhausting hamster wheel and into balanced living with Dr. Marissa. Her mission, to be a beneficial presence on the planet. Her purpose, to be your personal advocate to live, love, laugh, learn. Her life motto, don't die wondering. Take back your life with Dr. Marissa Fett on UBNRadio.com. And welcome. You are tuned in to a weekly talk radio show called Take My Advice. I'm not using it. Get balanced with Dr. Marissa every Tuesday at Naturally High Noon on Universal Broadcasting Network out of the Sunset Gower Studios and every Thursday and Saturdays now on my syndicated CNBC News Radio channel, KCAA AM 1050. And you're listening to a show about hope and happiness. So there's no gossip, no scandal, and no K-words. No Kardashian talk at all. <laughs> Instead, we w- encourage you to focus on your own reality show, which is your life and how you can be happy 88% of the time. And first of all, just to say hello to a couple of wonderful organizations that I got to work with this last week, Special Olympics, uh, partnering with U.S. Sailing Center of which I am a part of uh, when I race every Wednesday night. Uh, We got to host the delegation from China, and I got to do a lot of um, rusty Mandarin speaking, and it was wonderful meeting the Special Olympics team, and uh, it's going on. For those of you who don't know, this is Reach Up or Reach Up LA. Uh, We are hosting it in Los Angeles, and it's a wonderful place to support. And if you go to LA 2015, you can continue to support this fabulous fabulous worthy event and um at, and the nice thing is one of the uh, young men in the in the party actually recognized me because apparently i'm a big deal in china thanks to the marie claire china uh, article last year that came out uh, naming me as one of the influential women of 2014 and i made it in front of uh, stella mccartney so <laughs> it was a good year last year and it continues to be and for those of you who are tuned in today and, and I know that some of you actually don't tune in until the last week of the month because they are definitely into my special series, Sexual Healing with Dr. Marissa. And for those of you who didn't know that you were going to be listening to talk about positive sex talks in for the next hour, this is why I, I actually started this series. Uh, it started over a year ago when Dr. Pat Allen came on and I had such a great time talking about romance and sex and relationships for Valentine's in February. And then I, when I was doing the research, I saw so much about how women still are not feeling good about themselves down there, good about themselves all over, and Mm. certainly faking orgasms, Mm. up to 85% women faking orgasms. And I thought, you know what? We're going to not just do this February. We're going to do this all year. So every last week of the month, I have a sex bird come on and come on, (laughs) pun intended, to talk about how to get more pleasure from your life. Now, every once in a while, we also have uh, uh, sexual healing. Like last month, we had Paul Ganosho, who was a documentary of uh, how to heal from sexual addiction. And I also had one for, uh, uh, you know, healing or stopping the female genital mutilation in Sierra Leone. So we do do that side, but we most of the time, I want a safe and fun place to talk about how to get more pleasure, which is one of the highlights of this thing called life. So today is absolutely no exception. I have a friend, actually, uh, thanks to Jarvis, uh, a new, a new old friend who's coming on with me. She's a sex expert. She is Healthy Sexy Life on Facebook, so you can go check her out right now. Her name is Tinetta Denier. Welcome to the show. <laughs> so glad you're here. And and you are a sex expert because you 
uh, talk about sex and you actually coach people on many different things, uh, not just with sex, but mm -hmm. there seems to be uh, a lot of questions that come to you about infertil infertility, about uh, okay. impotence, which we're going to name something different in a bit, sure. and also about matching people based on their faces, which is actually an ancient Chinese custom mm -hmm. that uh, that you mentioned, and I definitely want to talk about that. So if you've just tuned in, you are tuned in to Take My Advice. I'm not using it. Get balanced with Dr. Marissa, and we are going to start right now. So mm -hmm. tell me how you got into sexual healing for yourself. So I'm boy crazy from way back. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Subject matter expert right there. <laughs> and, um, you know, I, I, I'm an only child, but I have like 27 first cousins on my dad's side alone. We can't even count how many I have on my mom's side. 90% mm -hmm. of them are guys. Mm. Um, I was a tomboy. I was one of the younger cousins, so I was always with the boys because my older cousins were girls. Uh -huh. um, I married a man who had three younger brothers. Okay. I gave birth to four sons myself. Yeah, there you go. At age 18, I became a barber. Huh? And I've been a barber for over 30 years. And I've just always been in the presence, protected by, cloaked by men. Mm. And it has encouraged very candid and frank conversations. Well, sure. I have been very blessed and lucky to be the fly on the wall that guys <laughs> will tell the truth in front of. Mm. You know, um, yeah. and I tell women all the time, if we would just shut up, <laughs> pause and listen, mm -hmm. ask a poignant question and give a man time to think, he will dig deep down in the well and bring you up some, some truth, Sarah. Mm. You know, and so... Um, I've been blessed to be a confidant to mm -hmm. men. And I mm -hmm. was given a really, wonder, really wonderful compliment by one of my clients. He said, you know, Ty, you have the ability to be intimate with men without being sexual. Huh. And he hit the nail on the head because without deciding that that's how I was labeling my intention, mm -hmm. it certainly was a perfect mm -hmm. description of mm -hmm. how I conduct myself with them. So, so from what you hear from men mm -hmm. who basically tell you everything what would you say their biggest beef with women is what would what would be the one that the number one thing that you hear the most um, sexually well or well, maybe not sexually I I intimacy relationships they want us to make them wait uh -huh. they they won't always admit it because they don't think it's really available okay but they would like to they would like to earn it Mm. They would like to earn us. Now that that is a little different <laughs> than what the what the perceived yes. right. Yes. Okay. But but you're getting this straight from the the man's mouth. We've made it easy <laughs> for them. Okay. Uh -huh. Men are men are beginning to say that they're ready they're ready to um, roll up their sleeves and and be more committed. Mm -hmm. They're ready to take the lead again. Mm -hmm. But women are still stuck on partying and wanting to get their hair and nails did and kind of using men as banks mm. as opposed to being their bows. And have a relationship. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So so we can uh, we can get rid of that stereotype. <laughs> <laughs> it, you, f uh, along with experience, uh, you use this as your Bible, and Absolutely. it was very interesting to me to to look at it because it is Chinese, mm -hmm. and I love all things Chinese. Oh so my. A little biased, but the Tao of Sexology, mm -hmm. the Book of Infinite Wisdom by Dr. Stephen T. Chang, mm -hmm. and you said he's still alive. Dr. Chang is in his eighties. Uh -huh. He's alive and kicking and well and still very much a teacher and um, he is actually the president of the foundation of the Tao mm. of sexology yeah. right right the Tao itself rather and mm -hmm. I have always been uh, of the belief or I choose to believe that sexuality and spirituality are hand-in-hand -hand cousins mm -hmm. that that the you know the separation of religion and sex and and you know sex is dirty sex is wrong mm -hmm. that kind of teaching has really um, come full circle mm -hmm. and in seeing that when you are connected to source when you are really turned on by life 
than sexuality or having an orgasm. You know, you say, oh, God, for a reason, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that that feeling, that orgasmic feeling mm -hmm. is, in, in essence, a part of being alive. Mm -hmm. And being alive is, for me, spirituality, yes. being fully alive. Yes. So, so... I opened the book, right? You, you, I, you know, you, I have owned a copy of that book since I was 18 years old. I'm now 46. Well, and I've and always you use maintained. oil of a leg. <laughs> I've always guess, maintained. Guess what page I accidentally, on purpose, opened up to you? I swear, <laughs> I swear. I just opened it up. I was not looking, didn't flip to, to, through the front. And it said, orgasm in women, mm -hmm. the nine levels. The nine levels. Yes. So, What's interesting is Davy Ward is one of my other sex experts that comes on occasionally as mm -hmm. a co-host, and she is very well known because she brought the whole, there's 11 different kinds of orgasms mm -hmm. that women can have. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a little bit different. It doesn't contradict. No. But there's nine levels. Mm -hmm. Do you know uh, these off by heart? I, I wouldn't describe them because <laughs> Dr. Dr. Chang gives them a very general kind of definitive description of what we do when mm -hmm. we're at each level. Uh -huh. But I will say this kind of piggybacking on what you were saying earlier about women are still faking. They're mm -hmm. not, you know, satisfied. They're not even really expressing what it is they truly desire. And they're kind of stuck in, you know, that we're not supposed to express such things. Right. Um, but um, women are only either t being taken or allowing themselves to go to the fourth level. Hmm. They're only getting okay, half of the that. experience. It's right there in the yeah. illustration so, on the so, previous page. So, okay. Mm -hmm. So then, okay, the first level, just, just for, for uh, kicks and giggles, mm -hmm. lungs, um, energized organ is at level one is the lungs. The woman sighs, breathes heavily, and salivates. Yes, That's so what Dr. Chang man, is salivate. saying here is that, um, you know, um, Asian philosophies of concerning health is very constitutional. So, and in, in holistic in its approach, um, it, it deals with not just the body and symptoms, and it doesn't build, deal with body and symptoms mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. It deals with the body and feelings. If you have an ill feeling, you are attracting an illness. Uh, and okay. um, constitutional therapy has to do with balancing one's feelings and one's energies mm -hmm. in order to um, bring the body systems or bio systems back into alignment with with nature and its original um, function. Bring it back to optimal function. Right. So, um, right. so that's he will one. Describe, yeah. Two he, is heart. The woman, while kissing the man, extends her tongue out to him. According to Su Wen or classic of the internal by the Yellow Emperor, the tongue corresponds to the heart. Mm -hmm. Three spleen, pancreas, and stomach. This is bio systems. Yes. As her muscles become activated, the woman grasps and holds the man tightly mm -hmm. level four kidneys and bladder women experience a series of vaginal spasms at this time and secretions begin to flow okay. so that's where we usually stop that's usually where we stop so, so, so let me look at five wait 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 before okay, okay. you go to five so <laughs> because that is where we usually stop where right we are stimulating the urinary system mm -hmm. you will see a lot of women with wide hips which is an indication of water retention Interesting. Because of stopping at that level. And hips don't lie. Hips don't <laughs> lie. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, and so, then, so know, interesting. That's, also... that's that's very interesting. So so we're not completing our orgasmic completing. cycle, and that's why we're retaining water. Yeah, and, and also think in terms of um, uh, oral stimulation mm -hmm. for the clitoris. Mm -hmm. Also directly stimulates the kidneys and bladder. And we have a high incidence of urinary tract infections, huh. not just because of oral sex. That's not what I'm saying, but right. because of stopping at that level. Huh. Right? Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. OK, so five is bones. The woman's joints loosen and she begins to bite the man. OK, so again, bones. Mm -hmm. A lot of women, you know, we are now medically, historically being connected to osteoporosis after yes. a certain age yeah yeah and if you're stopping at the fourth level and the fifth level stimulates so i have to bite more the bones <laughs> right well i think really what, what does that is, mean <laughs> well okay in order to build good bone right you have to do weight bearing exercise uh, if you're bearing down on that man with your teeth because he's taking you to that level of pleasure. Uh, okay. He may deserve to be bitten because he's doing that well. <laughs> but at the same time, you may okay. be building bone 
when within, you're bearing when you're down. Bearing okay, down so on it's him. maybe not <laughs> literal. Not literal. literal. Okay. <laughs> Six, liver and nerves. The woman undulates and gyrates like a snake, trying to wrap her arms and legs around the man. Now a real release is occurring. When the nervous system of a woman is engaged, mm-hmm. we rely on our nervous systems a good 75, 80%. Oh. Of okay. the time, you okay. know, B okay. vitamins are very important for women, which minister to the nervous system. How much B? Well, there's an entire B complex. Okay. You know, there's B6, B12. So, you so know, if I were your client, what would mechanic, you tell me? Acid. Would I need it? Every woman needs. Every woman needs. Every, it. Okay. especially women who have given birth. We we again twice. we just rely yes yeah. twice three four times yeah. you know yeah mm-hmm. so so I w- I could literally start just taking B complex and how would that affect my orgasms Mm, well, I would just say that it's 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 in keeping with the theme of this show. It's about balancing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And so I wouldn't website. say go out and start, you know, chugging B vitamins. <laughs> <laughs> you know me too well, right? <laughs> it's all or nothing. That's why my website's forbalance.org, right? Balance, yeah. And it's, that's why the show's called Take My Advice. I'm not using it. All right. Seven. I would say get your B vitamins out of your greens anyway. Don't go out and get the capsules. Okay. You don't want to separate the nur- the nur- the nutriments from its natural source. If you get it in its okay. natural source, it's, again, more balanced. Okay. Mm-hmm. Good. Um, seven. Blood. Woman's blood is boiling. Boiling. She is frantically trying to touch the man everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this is good. Eight muscles. Her muscles totally relax. She bites even more and grabs the man's nipples. Mm. Mm. Which some dudes really respond to that. I have a friend who really responds to twisted nipples. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, do too, but I am keeping my mouth shut. Okay, so let, no, Larry, <laughs> let's talk about that for a second, if we may. Yes, um, please. A woman's breasts yes. send a direct signal to her uterus and her and her vagina. Um, any woman who's ever breastfed knows that when the baby, you can think about your baby and begin to express milk. Yes. Okay, I had to literally distract myself when breastfeeding with a, sh- like, watching, I don't know, Ricky Lake or whatever, you know, back in the day when uh-huh. I was having my children because it stimulated my clit oh, when okay. my baby would, 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 would um, nurse. Uh-huh. And, uh-huh. you know, so um, also it's what just happens... just a, a natural connection it's a natural connection okay. between the mm-hmm. breast the uterus um and the and the clitoris and maybe even the bladder the other thing is um um when after giving birth you still continue to have contractions mm-hmm. while the uterus is shrinking okay well b- breastfeeding will help encourage um the the uterus to contract before. and get mm-hmm. smaller so the mm-hmm. tummy gets smaller faster mm-hmm. firmer mm-hmm. you know but again breastfeeding stimulates the uterus and the vagina so okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's a it's a it's not a bad thing to to play with that. Oh, not at all. Yeah. You know, I encourage men to make love to the whole woman. Mm. Kiss her, come down her neck to the breast. Yes. Mm-hmm. We are engaging the entire endocrine system mm-hmm. when doing so, mm-hmm. which is a hot box of energy again waiting to boil do you, over. Do you teach your your sons Oh, absolutely. Oh, you do? Okay, say they know how to treat a woman. Oh, my gosh. My son, (laughs) my my baby boy is 18. Uh When he was 16, he came to me and said, Mom, what does girth mean? And I went, uh, d- um, uh, what does Webster say? <laughs> <laughs> and so he says, well, Webster said that it has to do with width and thickness. And that. I was like, oh, God, Jesus. So he, we're going to have to have this conversation. That day, my mm-hmm. son and I talked until 5 a.m. Mm-hmm. about sex. I shared um, everything mm-hmm. I pretty mm-hmm. much know. He got mm-hmm. more out of me than his older brothers did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. we had a wonderful, candid it, conversation this- about erectile dysfunction I mean erectile um, performance and everything Mm -hmm. yeah beautiful Mm -hmm. beautiful and we're going to get to that in a second but the last level the entire body is energized this is level nine she collapses in a little death Mm -hmm. she completely surrenders to the man it is completely opened up yes so we're (laughs) saying that we're not on average we're not getting to that point we stop at four Mm -hmm. and then the feeling of it not being complete Mm -hmm. is a normal feeling because we're not going to all nine levels. Yes, and here's a benchmark for you, for for guys. Mm -hmm. Um, When you've done well and she revives from that little death, she wants to get up and make you a sandwich. (laughs) And if she doesn't, (laughs) you ain't done. (laughs) 
Yes. Okay. So so let's go to um, one of the things that that is about sexual healing, and that is impetusy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've had listeners and um, people message in yes. asking. You know, is it because it's all over Viagra yes. and now there's a new Cialis one? And yeah, and another one. So, so, <laughs> and, and is it, I was just at Starbucks having a coffee mm-hmm. and sitting across from this couple and he, I mean, they were just doing an all out talking about, you know, whether her man should or shouldn't mm-hmm. use it and what it means yeah. and he uses it and here the problem. It's like, wow, mm-hmm. I had no idea it is that prevalent. Now. It is. Okay. It is. It is. So, so tell me, um, what's the natural solution to impotence and why do you not call it impotence? Um, well, you know, uh, Impotence is just not a nice word. Men don't want to be associated with impotency. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, No power. Exactly. Right. And I'm just going to say, if you've just tuned in and you're wondering what the heck we're talking about (laughs) today, this is Take My Advice, I'm Not Using It, Get Balanced with Dr. Marissa. And we are on our last week of the month series called Sexual Healing with Dr. Marissa, the new Asian Dr. Ruth. Mm -hmm. And my guest today is the sexpert, Tanyetta Denier. And she, you can find her on her website at Help Heal Thy Sexy Life. Healthy, sexy life. Oh, very clever. Mm. Healthy, heal thy sexy life. Mm -hmm. And so um, go ahead. So the, um, I use the word erectile performance. Okay. Because that's the goal. Right. And um, as far as a natural way to overcome. Understand that the biosystem that is affected when there is erectile, when there is a lack of performance in the erectile region mm-hmm. is the circulatory system. Okay. Many people would immediately say, oh, it's a reproductive problem. It's a blood issue. It's okay. a blood flow issue. Okay. Okay. So the way um, to engorge a penis, mm-hmm. um, one is to bring a scarf to bed, ladies. Are you listening? <laughs> bring a scarf to bed. Okay. Okay. Um, whatever way pleases you and your mate to um, engage his penis fully erect, whether it be oral stimulation or by hand. Once you get him to, um, you know, a firmness that pleases, you can tie a scarf at the base of his penis mm-hmm. before his pelvis. And okay. that traps the blood huh. so that, you know, there's a normal flow where it's, right. it's, it's ebbing and flowing, coming in and out. Well, and he's throbbing. And with every throb, it pumps blood into the shaft up into the head. Okay. And the head becomes larger and more defined. And a more defined head is more pleasure for a okay. woman. Okay. okay. So when you tie the base of the penis with a scarf, the, the blood is trapped and it doesn't flow out as fast. So there's less he's less likely to um, lose to lose his erection, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, so um, for... 50 shades of pink. Hmm. <laughs> when we think in terms of... When we think in terms of, of, of prevalence in, in our culture nowadays, mm-hmm. you think about the high incidence of diabetes. Mm-hmm. Diabetes is a circulatory disease. Um, it is also a di- digestive disease. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so um, diabetic men are reaching for Viagra and Cialis and whatever that third okay. thing is okay. in order to be able to continue to perform in the presence of diabetes. Okay, so there, yeah. So there is an exercise that one can do. And I personally was once married to a diabetic man. Mm-hmm. And uh, four years into our marriage, it was a full-on challenge for him. Mm-hmm. And I had owned this book since I was 18. Uh-huh. By the time we began to address the issue literally and actively Mm -hmm. I was in my late 20s early 30s okay we had had four children so no one thought that we had any issues issues, Uh, absolutely not however um you know in the in the confidence and confines of our bedroom he one day confided in me Mm -hmm. and I knew he was ready I had been wanting to share this information Mm -hmm. with him for years Mm -hmm. but he wasn't ready to to be ready so it's not so it's not your recommendation that women sort of buy this book and put it by the bedstand I absolutely do recommend that (laughs) right but here's the thing women have a role in it because Uh my role in it was to sit in the middle of our bed with the book Mm -hmm. while he sat on the edge of a chaise lounge beside our bed and I read to him the deer exercise mm. in that book. Okay. And the deer exercise very simply explained um, 
is a man sitting mm -hmm. um, with his rear end on the edge of a seat, mm -hmm. his testicles dangling, dangling mm -hmm. his testicles being held in the palm of his hand for warmth, okay. and then he places his hand flat up against, um, if you give me the book, I sure. can maybe show you the illustration, okay. but he places his hand flat up against his pelvis um, between his belly button and his um, pelvis, rather. Uh -huh. There it is right there. And he rubs so many, you know, circles in one direction and then rubs so many circles in the opposite direction. Honest to goodness, something that had been a challenge for us for years uh -huh. was solved in the time that it took for my husband to do however many rotations of this rubbing to his penis while cupping and keeping his testicles warm. Then he climbed up in the bed with me and we made love for an entire hour mm. for the first time in years. Oh. Mm -hmm. So this stuff really works. It really it, works. And it has no side effects. No, because, because it's, it's not, not invasive. A <laughs> it's non-invasive. So I'm all for that. I'm an, all for an that. An interesting um, remembrance came to me yesterday. And, you know, I've spoken to your producer about this on many occasions because we're personal friends. Mm -hmm. But I just remembered I hadn't told him this part. I had a, a, a dear friend who was also a very close friend of my husband's. We, we were church family, mm -hmm. and um, he had erectile performance issues, and he was not only taking Viagra, but he was selling Viagra a pill at a time. And I can talk about him because he, I'm not going to say his name, and he's uh -huh. also no longer with us, but he was selling the pills for $50 each. And um, <laughs> he, his wife and he and I made an appointment. Mm -hmm. um, we, I had begun to give him salt glows, which helped to improve the circulation in his legs. Um, he began to overcome the edema and swelling in his legs and mm -hmm, feet. Mm -hmm. um, he was beginning to be able to wear shoes and socks without them cutting into his flesh because mm. the swelling was going down. Mm. Um, he was um, beginning to go hiking with me in the mountains, which was something he couldn't do because his feet hurt so bad all right, the time. Right. And as I was doing these salt glows, which was literally rubbing him with liquid aloe vera and coarse ground sea salt to dehydrate the inorganic water that he was retaining mm -hmm. out of his flesh because the skin is our biggest eliminative organ. Mm -hmm. um, she knows her stuff. <laughs> while he lay there pretending to sleep, his penis began to bounce. Mm. And it had never been reacting before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I knew that that the circulatory system, system. was being corrected and Balanced. decongested mm -hmm. from head mm -hmm. to toe. Mm -hmm. And beautiful. so, right? Isn't that yeah. beautiful? Yeah. And so, um, you know, liquid aloe vera or aloe vera in general creates new cells. Mm. So and then um, sea salt is an alkalizing agent as well as a dehydrating agent. So those two or three things, those two or three elements together was doing something amazing. Okay. And so um, he and he decided that he no longer wanted to use Viagra to perform with his wife. He mm. didn't want the drug to be in control of his desire right. or his right. ability to fulfill right. his desire and his wife's. So we made an appointment to rent a hotel room. And I, I, um, I, 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 I read this, this procedure to him. Mm -hmm. And when he had an automated erection and I witnessed it, uh -huh. never having to touch him, right. I sat on a sofa, he sat on the floor mm -hmm. and um, did this while I uh, read it. Yes, while mm -hmm. I instructed him. Mm -hmm. And then once we knew we had a full on erection that, needed no more talking to I called his wife and said head on ready. over exactly <laughs> I left and she came and that That's was it well, I'm sorry she, she came literally twice. came yeah she, <laughs> she came that's great. That's great. Thanks for sharing. I mean, this is this is exactly why I do this show because mm -hmm. there are ways to really heal yes. and to uh, enjoy orgasms, men and women, that yes. based on ancient Chinese secrets, yes. literally, yes. Uh, that we don't have to take a pill for. Yes. And thank you for mm -hmm. that. And we're going to come back with more of that after we thank the sponsors who make this show possible. We'll be back in two. Peace in and peace out. <laughs> Do you want more life balance? Are you 88% happy with your health and well-being, your relationships, your livelihood? If yes, do the abundance. If no, and you'd like a life balance tune-up and align those head heart spark plugs and smog check the BS belief systems that are clogging your lifelines, contact Dr. Marissa. 
the kinder, gentler Dr. Laura at www.the4balance.org for a session on the air or a private one on the beach. Looking for a rejuvenating getaway? Then Salt Oasis is your answer. This holistic wellness center allows you to escape your worries while absorbing nature's healing properties. Salt therapy has been a trusted way to help individuals suffering from a wide range of respiratory and autoimmune disorders to skin conditions and anxiety. Salt Oasis is conveniently located in Rancho Cucamonga near Victoria Gardens. Call 909-291-7258. That's 909-291-7258. And plan your escape into wellness. And welcome. You are tuned in still to Sexual Healing with Dr. Marissa. The last week of every month on Take My Advice. I'm not using it. Get balanced with Dr. Marissa and my sex expert today is... Tanyetta Denier. Mm-hmm. I got it. Mm-hmm. And and we've been talking about natural ways for men to hold their erection or to have a better erection. And there's another tip. This is definitely the episode for men. Okay. And women. Yes. And women, because yes. it, it it's good for women when it's good for a man. Yeah. So so tell me about the S is it nine? Yes, yes. So that we were talking about how women are, are being kind of stuck at level four, even though there's nine stages of orgasm. And once your man is now um, experiencing a full on erection, um, you know, maybe sometimes if, if having had erectile performance issues, he's now a little out of practice. OK. You know, the, the muscles may have atrophied a bit and there's some, you know, some strengthening uh um, exercises workout. that he can do mm-hmm. absolutely so <laughs> one of the workouts in bed that actually brings a woman can that he can use to bring his mate to um, the ninth level is to do the holdbacks they're huh. uh, done in sets of nine so um, for example he would do one deep stroke okay and and eight shallow strokes Uh then two deep strokes and seven shallow strokes then three deep strokes and six shallow strokes until Mm -hmm. he gets to nine deep strokes and one I'm sorry yeah and one shallow stroke Uh and then he'd go back the other way it's a thinking process that he has to put himself through but the distract it's a distraction therapy that keeps him from thinking about ejaculating okay so that his mate can get to the ninth level and he can do that however long as long as he's counting and stroking deeply and shallowly Mm. right Mm -hmm. and then you know if you find your man a little you know where maybe he's getting a um, overly excited and wants to have his special moment a little before yours then bite him a little bit okay this is (laughs) this is not boot camp this is boot (laughs) this is booty camp booty camp (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> wonderful wonderful okay we're gonna move on to the next topic because because uh, i'm turning more shades of red so so yeah i've got orange highlights on here i okay so we did have a question from a listener about infertility in fact that seems to be on the rise there are more and more couples experiencing infertility lots and lots and lots of money being spent on infertility treatments do you have a natural solution to infertility it's it's nourishment nourishment okay nourishment and the endocrine system has to be nourished the endocrine endocrine system needs to be awakened the endocrine system is our glandular system okay so there are the, the ovaries for women, the prostate and the testicles for men, the um, uh, adrenal glands, the um, thyroid, thymus, pineal gland, and pituitary gland. Mm-hmm. And um, in Asian philosophy, that energy will sit like a hot pot at the tailbone at the lower part of the spine Mm. and when those cyst when those organs or should i say glands are well nourished and working at optimal level they're cleansed they're activated Mm -hmm. um then it is a it is a generator for the body those those glands and um, that energy will rise and on a meditative le- le- level, when um, those en- when those glands are working optimally, mm-hmm. there are no stoppages in the body, 
and one can reach the eighth chakra energetically uh -huh. because all of those those um, yeah all yeah. of those glands are aligned yeah. with the chakras the okay. seven other chakras so that, throughout and the body then conceiving a child is just a natural output of that alignment of that alignment okay. so, so then nourishment you know there are there herbs are food mm -hmm. food is medicine mm -hmm. so there are herbs and food that you can eat and take in concentrated forms i like to call it concentrated nourishment okay. there are that will like, like mm, oh lord <laughs> put you on the spot <laughs> <laughs> well really it's a combination like we there are female combination herbal formulas okay. that I share in consultation with clients. And I put together nutritional programs, um, um, concentrated nourishment programs that include proper eating, proper exercise, proper rest. So what I have for you more than the actual um, food, food mm -hmm. or herbs is a story. Uh -huh. My, I was doing a consultation. I had a consultation bus business out of our apartment in Burbank, uh -huh. and I had a waterman who would deliver around the same hours that I was doing my consultation. So I would just leave my door open. He'd come in, deliver water. One day he stopped. I'd finished with a client. He says, what do you do here? And I explained, because uh -huh. I had posters up of the you know, anatomy posters and things like that. And it just was a very clinical looking environment. And he says, and I told him, I said, I do health consultations. And he says, you know, my wife and I were trying to have a baby. Mm -hmm. Have you ever helped someone with infertility? Mm -hmm. We don't want to have a litter of of kids we just want to have one he's like <laughs> right. i'm a water man i can only afford one kid <laughs> so <laughs> um it just so happened i had helped another couple who was suffering with fibroids mm -hmm. and the wife had a fibroid that had grown to the size of a a grapefruit mm -hmm. and after doing some things that some directives that i had given her to do nutritionally dietarily cleansing mm -hmm. juice formulas um within a week her tumor had shrunk to the size of a lemon mm. and understand I am simply suggesting to people right. what I know what I've learned from my mentors mm -hmm. that has historically um, been effective with certain foods it's not that we ever think that we can correct mm -hmm. a disease mm -hmm. that's that's mm -hmm. not the approach mm -hmm. that we take thank you and mm -hmm. so um um when I shared the same directives with him he paid me to put together a little herbal formula and some juice for he and his wife and that's the other thing I treated the husband and the wife giving mm -hmm. them concentrated nourishment for both of their different reproductive systems uh -huh. and a few months later he was like we're pregnant oh, you know a few months and they've been trying other solutions for a long time yes yeah so so tell me I believe that one of the reasons that couples cannot conceive is the stress that comes from wanting to conceive so badly Absolutely. that that there's blockage sure. right yes. body mind spirit soul yeah you know it's just like um in the secret where uh bob proctor said you know if you're concentrating on debt then all you're going to get is debt he said leave the debt to the debt consolidation people and focus on wealth mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so if you're worrying about if you can or cannot, then you cannot mm -hmm. conceive. Mm -hmm. If you're worrying about, you know, not being able to conceive, you won't. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, be more concerned with the bond and closeness of you and your mate, yeah. um, mm -hmm. the um, the loving environment that you want to bring a child into. Mm -hmm. You know, start nesting, start decorating, paint that nursery. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. and but doesn't know, that set up people for disappointment because? If you if you set up that space and it still doesn't happen, mm. is, well, don't you have to move the old car out of the garage before you can bring a new one in? You know, mm -hmm. you can't leave the old broken down car in the garage. Mm -hmm. You know, and then the other thing is um, the 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 nourishment. Mm -hmm. um, a part of the nourishment is creating the good feeling space around wanting to bring a baby into a life space mm -hmm. where a desire for parenthood exists mm -hmm. in the heart and mind of the mother and father first. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Absolutely. And any, any 
BS belief system, stupid thoughts Mm -hmm. around I'm being punished or I'm not meant to, or, Mm -hmm. you know, something is just drop all that. Don't even go there. Like a hot potato. Exactly. Exactly. You know, that's something I got from Dr. I mean, from uh, Eckhart Tolle, a Mm -hmm. student asked him, well, how do I change my mind? He said, how do you drop a hot potato? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you just, I know the most powerful thing we have is called choice. Yes. And I'm constantly yelling at my clients mm. with love <laughs> to choose a better feeling thought. Yes. It's as simple as that. Mm-hmm. So I agree with you. Okay. And that, we're coming you know, the Dow of Sexology is all about, about that. loving I'm each other. I'm going to have to read this. Yeah. I'm definitely going to have to read in this. In the back of that book, there's even prayers to to pray while tangled up in positions. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm. Meditative sex and love making. No. Yes. Yummy stuff. Yes. Yummy, yummy yes. stuff. Yes. And on that <laughs> note, because it's all about me, I heard from Jarvis that I need to ask you something about sex and Chinese women and faces. <laughs> so, so face- here we go. <laughs> Facial analysis is something that um, this ancient. Dao, which means the way, mm-hmm. um, practice yes. teaches people to utilize for choosing a mate, yes. for choosing a partner. And you know, we have these, you know, these societal uh, stereotypes where a man with big hands and a man with big feet and this, that, and the other. However, um, Asian women have thick eyelids, uh-huh. and the eyelid is indicative of the walls of the vagina. Oh, so thick eyelids mean thick walls. Is it good to have a thick wall? I mean, if usually a, I don't want to be called thick. If a man, well, black women want to be called thick. Black men call it women thick. Okay. Well, I mean, <laughs> men thick, that's another story, but we're not going there. Okay, so so thick. Thick means more cushion for the pushing. Sorry. <laughs> Right? Perfect. In, inside and Perfect. out. That's Perfect. Why, that's why okay. the booty is such a big thing nowadays, mm-hmm. right? So, um... <laughs> Beautiful. So so it's a good thing that I have... Thick walls. Thick walls. So, um, and thick eyel- a man, eyelids. A man who desires a tight, a tight fit, who loves the special fit of the inside of a woman, and he wants a, a tight fit that maybe pulls and holds him inside... So that's thick the walls will why do that. That's so. So that's. I always thought it was because men men wanted subservient women that mm. they were attracted to Asian mm. women. Mm. But uh, obviously, I missed that boat. Mm-hmm. Well, Anyways, mm-hmm. um, okay, and then and then what? So let me use the last couple of minutes on something that just continues to come up for many many women, and it did come up in our men's panel when we talked about. Uh, you know, women getting, um, you know, they're in a relationship, everything's good. Uh, Through the years, they begin to get heavier, okay? Mm -hmm. And they gain weight. Uh, They get to the point where they don't look like they used to. um, And it's more difficult to keep yourself, you know, in in that skinny modeling kind of uh, uh, shape. Mm -hmm. And so you feel... Um, bad about the way you look mm-hmm. you feel fat you feel unattractive mm-hmm. you you try to work out you try to diet and it just doesn't you never get back to where you were you're uh you, you're sub you're conscious self-conscious about the way you look you don't like the way you look so you don't even bother wanting to meet someone or to date or you want to but you're frustrated because you know they want the the, the skinny model mm. and you're never going to be we think. and so we think so so that whole what would you say to the the average woman, and and I have a lot of average women listeners Mm -hmm. who have hit me up with this, with, you know, what would be your advice for a woman, an average woman who, who really has given up on wanting to be in a relationship or wanting to date or doing anything because they just cannot seem to feel good about the way they look. Close on or close off. Forgive yourself. Mm. All roads lead back to you. Mm. All roads lead back to self. All forgiveness is self-forgiveness. Mm. And so men only want a confident woman. Mm. They don't care what we look like because we look different from them. And that's all they care about. Mm-hmm. They want someone who looks different from them. So if we're thicker, mm-hmm. more cushy, that feels very much unlike themselves. Mm-hmm. And it's what causes them to get aroused. 
to bump up against something that is softer than them. To have a soft pace place to fall mm -hmm. is what a man wants. Mm -hmm. He doesn't care about the extra weight. Mm -hmm. I want to believe you. It's just more. I want to believe you. Now but, we're not but, talking but, about uh, we're not talking about the shallow little boys who are stuck on, you know, um, public image and what other people think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're talking about men, okay. real men, grown mm -hmm. men mm -hmm. who want a grown ass woman. <laughs> I'm going to have to bleep that one out. <laughs> <laughs> All know, right. A grown, a grown, a grown okay. woman. Mm -hmm. A grown man wants a grown woman mm -hmm. and a grown woman sometimes puts on a little extra weight. Mm -hmm. Some, when you look at the... Um, uh, old, you know, portraits and oil paintings mm -hmm. from the, the Renaissance. Renaissance. I know I've been era. like a, I've been pushing the Renaissance. Every lately. woman looks like a little cherub, <laughs> a little chubby cherub. You know. Yeah. So they it's have roles. so it starts with you're saying it starts Curves. with forgiving yourself Forgive for yourself. where. Where Forgive you yourself for how you have judged yourself for the little bit of weight that you've gained, mm -hmm. even if it's a lot of weight. Forgive yourself. Mm -hmm. Because if you want to get rid of the weight, mm -hmm. you're not going to holding on to resentment mm -hmm. or regret. Mm -hmm. You let go of the regret, you let go of the weight. Mm -hmm. You listening? <laughs> <laughs> Am I listening? Yeah. 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 Beautiful. A Beautiful. man wants a confident woman. Mm. Just like confidence is sexy. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't, you know, the least sexy thing is an is an insecure man. Yeah. Yeah. You can say amen <laughs> to that. Okay. How do we find you again? Because I, I know I'm going to have listeners going, what? Where do I need to talk to her? <laughs> Tanya De Denier at, um, I'm at Facebook, Healthy or Heal Thy Sexy Life. Okay. On Facebook. Heal and Thy Sexy Life. Yes. Healthy or Heal Thy Sexy, sexy life. life. And the website is coming. So okay. if you go to the Facebook page, you'll find out when the website is up. Yeah. And they can always contact you there, message you there. Absolutely. If they want a consultation. Please. And uh, I do you? natural health consultations. I am a certified natural health coach, iridologist, okay. and um, herbalist. I was taught by some of the greatest natural health pioneers in our country. I'm about three generations from from the original the originators of herbalism mm -hmm. in this country dr jethro claus who is famous for back to eden and dr uh, uh christopher dr oh my goodness i can't remember, <laughs> remember his <laughs> first okay. name john it's christopher the dr john yeah. christopher who wrote the mucusless diet and everyone is familiar with his work because he designed the master cleanse that spicy lemonade uh, everyone's always drinking right right mm -hmm. right right yeah wonderful so i'm two generation well one gen two and two generation one generation away from them that's great. Uh, dr uh dr ivy bridge and dr bernard jensen uh were my mentors right yeah. well I have learned so much from you today. Thank you so much Thank you. for, for Thank coming. You for me. No, really, 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 really. This is um, awesome. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Healthy, sexy life on Facebook. All right, we are down to the end of the wire or the end of the show called The Balance Bar where I get to tell you where you can find me and how to support me and all that kind of good stuff. First of all, congratulations to Janina Aravata. I hope I said that correctly. She is the third person only in the last 49 months. So since July 1st, 2011, when I began the 21 day fast from complaining with Dr. Marissa way, way back there with 40 people, we're now almost 10,000. And if you register on forbalance.org, we start every first of the month. I post for 21 days tips, balance tips on how to stay complaint free. And if you register and then tell me that you did 21 days in a row, you win a free pack of my motivational cards that accompany the fast, the fast called 52, lots of numbers, 52 card pick me up stacking the deck for life balance with Dr. Marissa. So congratulations to Janina. Janina, we'll give her a little uh, applause there. She did let me know. She finished 21 days in a row and she's actually uh, done some more even when we're off the fast. So I'm very, very proud of you and congratulations to you. Uh, uh, so August 1st, we'll start round 50 
So join me, sign up on fourbalance.org, come to Facebook for the tips and LinkedIn and uh, sometimes on Instagram for those uh, balance tips on how to stay not complaining and also on YouTube. Uh, this Saturday, I really, really, you know, I only do two retreats per year for the public and one's in Sedona the weekend after Mother's Day and one's uh, on the sand by the sea and that is this Saturday. So if you pre-register, you save $20, $20. it's only $88 for nine to two, includes a a healthy lunch and if you for balance.org you can register there uh, if you want to just if you're a last minute kind of person uh, come to seal beach and it's seventh and the ocean so it's near lifeguard station three but you can park in the seal beach lot on the north side and it's i think six dollars so not not a lot but uh, bring your beach chairs no experience necessary i'm going to be teaching still meditation moving meditation uh, and other tools balanced tools to keep that uh, critical bs belief systems out of your head so i want to see you this saturday uh my uh, doctor uh, Marissa Asian Oprah giveaway is one free uh, DVD at the retreat. If you come there, I will. It's that's worth twenty dollars. So the balance Tai Chi Gong promoting inner peace, one breath at a time, and that's for today's giveaway. If you message me on Facebook, uh, then I'll know who you are. Also. Uh, let's see, was there anything else? Oh, if you missed Marianne from Gilligan's Island last week, she was phenomenal. Please go to my YouTube or my iTunes. You can find all of my past episodes there and, uh, make sure you give me the finger. I mean, a thumbs up. That would be really awesome to continue to support this show and be partners in bringing peace work around the planet. And that's it. Next week, we will be having a little party for my birthday on the air. I'm going to be bringing some some of the new hosts, some of the old hosts from both my stations, UBN and CNBC. And we're going to party and talk about whatever you want to talk about. So that is next week on Take My Advice. I'm not using it. Get balanced with Dr. Marissa Pay. That's P for positive, E-I. And remember, it's all about balance. Peace in and peace out. turn a page I couldn't see past my rage I wanted to dance but I pushed you away now I'm on my knees I'll listen to what you say and